So I find that there's a ton of talk right now in the world with my friends, with my family, my neighborhood about sex and about what sex is. And I also find, at least as a follower of Jesus, that there's a chasmic gap between culture at large's definition of sexuality and God's definition. And by that I mean from the scriptures um, as Jesus would define it, as the biblical authors would define it. So basically, as I read it, culture at large defines sex as recreational play between two consenting adults. So it's just physical, it's just the biological coupling of two bodies for sexual release and what's the big deal? As long as it's between two consenting adults, if it's mutually pleasurable, I mean, what in the world is the big deal? It's just play for grown-ups. And then the church often comes along and says, okay, here's all the rules. Here's where you can do it and here's where you can't do it. But they buy into culture's definition of what sex is. And then basically say, well, you can do it, but only in marriage. And oh, by the way, only marriage between a man and a woman, not a man and a man or a woman and a woman. And to most of us, that's just nonsensical. If you're not a follower of Jesus, you hear that and you think, what, what kind of crazy, uneducated, traditional, outdated thing is that? It makes no sense. But reality, we have to get behind it to the definition of what sex is. So as I read the scriptures, as I read the teachings of Jesus, here's how I understand sex. In Genesis chapter two, the word echad is used, that in sexuality, two people become echad, or it can be translated one flesh. This is a graphic, weighty word that basically means, when it's put together with this word flesh, fused together at the deepest level. That in sex, a man and a woman come together and are fused together at the deepest level. It is the bonding of two people into one entity, body and soul, physical and spiritual, because there's no way to bifurcate the two. So it's actually a much higher view of sex than cultures. Culture basically says, hey, it's just play. It's just biological. What's the big deal? God says, whoa, 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 no. It's way more than that. It's two people who become one entity and then over and over again enjoy and express love for one another through sexuality. Now inside of marriage this is beautiful because it it takes two people and it doesn't let them drift apart. It keeps them together. It keeps them echad or one. But outside of marriage this can be dehumanizing because it can turn people into objects for basically self-gratification and then every time you walk away from a sexual partner it's as if you tear echad, as if part of you is lost and you do that enough times and it starts to hollow you out from the inside. So I, as a follower of Jesus, think that we need a higher view of sex than culture at large is, not a lower view. We need to get back to the mysterious, beautiful, powerful reality of what happens when a man and a woman make love.